Here we go, playing zombies as God intended. I've got my coffee in one hand and the other hand's on the wheel as we cruise around looking for zombies. Cheers. For years, the zombies community has been trashing my zombies ability. They say I'm bad at the game. They say I fake my gameplay. They say I'm not first in the world for every single Easter egg. Hell, for two years in a row, I was the last pick in the EE for C draft. And then those assholes have the nerve on a live stream to trash my zombies ability. I just had to go with who I thought would be course, the best. And course. like this year, it's a, it's a very solid team of really good players. And then Johnny J as well. <laughs> now I could pick my co-host, which I'm not though, which is... <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow. Johnny J is the worst. John's the oldest, one of my oldest YouTube friends, but no offense, but he, he ain't that right? great, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fucking bullshit. All of that is changing this year, though. <laughs> that is right, ladies and gentlemen. This year, not only am I participating in ZWC, but I will be taking home that $10,000 prize. Now, I'm sure a lot of you haters and zombies, mainstream media sheeple are probably saying, John, you're trash at the game. You don't even deserve to be in the same room as ZWC. That's why we're setting the record straight and we're starting with this video to prove my zombies ability, I'm gonna do something none of the other cowards in the zombies community would ever think to do. We're gonna play an entire game of zombies using this bad boy. That's right, we're playing a game of zombies using only a steering wheel. We're so good, we don't even need a proper controller. Let's get into it. Here we are in game, and as you can see, we are controlling things with the steering wheel. So here's how the controls are mapped. Basically, to move your head left and right, you turn the steering wheel as such. To move forward, you hit the gas pedal. To go backwards, you hit the brake. And that's really about it. Then there's other buttons mapped to the controller or the steering wheel, such as aiming down sights and shooting. One important thing to note is that there's no buttons mapped to the vertical axis. So what this means is that anytime we wanna look up or down, we have to let aim assist do all the work, which as you'll discover can sometimes get dodgy. So if we wanna look up at this guy, we gotta let aim assist pull us. It's gonna make it hard to go for headshots and do other things like that. Oh, let's not die at round one. That would be embarrassing. But these are the rules and the circumstances we are going for. If we wanna make an impact at ZWC, this is how we do it, with a steering wheel. I must say, I'm pretty sure we're playing zombies as God intended. I've got my coffee in one hand, I've got another hand on the wheel, and we're cruising to these zombies. And then, we take them out. Oh! That, uh, could have been embarrassing. We're already two... Oh shit, we gotta hit the brake. Aim assist, pull us. Okay, we are two rounds in, and we've already had two nearly embarrassing deaths. Um, we got a long road ahead of us. Alright, let's see if we can get through an entire round without nearly dying. I don't think that's too much to ask. No, no, oh, god. Well, that never happened. Um... Let's just all close our eyes for a second, pretend that round four death never happened, and next time you see me, we'll magically be at round four again. Deal? Perfect. Here we are, round four, and it's like we never even went down. That's what I'm talking about. Although, we might go down again. Okay, aim assist, just save our ass. Oh god. I'm so, like, paralyzed to move. Alright, so I have a little bit of a plan and a strategy to how we're going to get to a high round using only a steering wheel. And the first part of my master plan, turn on the power. Step two of my master plan, pick up perks. But also, don't die in the process. There's Jug here. 
jug. Oh, perfect. All right, let's grab jug. And we got the dogs, okay. Here's the tricky part about dogs. So, as you can see, we can't look down, so we need aim assist to lock onto them, and if that aim assist misses, we're kind of screwed. Um, so we just gotta really just spam aiming down sights till it pulls our head towards the dogs. Otherwise, there's not much we can do. Like, it's, it's not too difficult, but if you miss, they can sneak up on you real quick. And that's how it's done. We're gonna need, though, a proper weapon. Okay, now we got a VMP. Fuck! Ooh! That could have been really bad for a second. Okay, come on, just spam and then we'll fall down and let them run to here. Alright, so the next part of our plan is pretty much just to camp here and then when we get enough points, start getting maybe a better weapon and also opening up some of the teleporters. That's kind of our strategy for the next three or four rounds. We might get in some trouble here soon. Especially if we have to make a run without like a proper gun. We're gonna see how this goes. Running away with the steering wheel. <laughs> Oh god. It's just so clunky, the movement. I guess we got away. Uh, let's get double tap. Maybe this will make the RK5 not absolute garbage. We're gonna need a better gun. Alright, we got some cash. Now's a good time to start hitting some teleporters. So, we basically just have to cruise on over to the teleporter. We got 30 seconds to do it. We also can't sprint because sprinting is not mapped to the steering wheel. Not my best decision. Teleporter one complete. Let's get the next teleporter. Hit the button, and then all we gotta do is cruise. Thank you, thank you. All right. We've now officially made it 10 rounds using only a steering wheel. Hail to the king, baby! I kinda just, I'm acting like a turret, essentially. I feel like that's the best way to describe this blade style, because as soon as I need to move, that's when the trouble starts, and we're getting close to having to move, actually. <laughs> Shit, even with insta-kill. Question is, how many more rounds can I keep this up? Before I actually need to pack a bunch and start beefing myself up more. It's double points, this is putting us in a prime position right now. We are rolling right now. As far as cash reserves, oh, let's get those headshots. Boom, that's how we do it. Yeah, they did not mess around this round. They just they just came sprinting at us. Ah, fuck, let's open the door. We literally just said we were chilling anyway. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Here's what we're gonna do. I I don't feel confident. We're gonna hit this trap. Oh, and that nuke could be big. Just don't end the round, don't end the round. If we can just, let's run over on this side of the map in hopes that a zombie spawns over here because if any zombies spawn over on that trap side and die, we're fucked. I can see everything here. Okay, be the last zombie. There's at least three. All right. Um, not ideal, but we can deal. Like, what's what's a game of zombies without a little adversity? <laughs> so here's what we'll do. We'll link the teleporter, and then we'll go get our perks back. All right, quick revive. Juggernog. Double tap. And then finally, the perk we've been waiting on. Speed Cola. Now let's go pack a punch and get into the real bulk of our plan. First ever Pack-A-Punch with a steering wheel. Also just want to give a quick shout out after that Pack-A-Punch to the Pack-A-Punch hat. Pardon the bird's nest on top of my head. But if you want to pick up the Pack-A-Punch hat, a link is in the description. It's a great way to support my channel. AdSense right now is absolutely fucking abysmal. 
but buying merch is one of the best ways to directly support me, and I recommend picking up the Pack-a-Punch hat while they're available. It's the only hat in the game that lets you rock Pack-a-Punch everywhere you go. Thanks for supporting the channel. Oh, no, let's not end the game. Let's get back to the action. <laughs> That would have been the fucking worst end to the video ever. If we make it to round 15, I give a merch plug and then accidentally end the game. That would have been tragic. Our game died so that the Pack-a-Punch hat could live. So the next thing we need to do is start hitting the mystery box. We need a weapon that'll carry us right now, either the Haymaker or the Draken. The HVK will hold us over, but it's not ideal, so we didn't down though we would have had eight thousand dollars to have invested into this box but you know you live and you learn we're clearing the zombies ammo might get tough if we're gonna get a max ammo every five rounds we basically need to survive four rounds without a max ammo or four rounds with only one randomly placed max ammo certainly doable all right give me something better than the locust while we quick scope. ready locust quick scope. ah uh... You know, it's not ideal, but it'll do. Thank you very much. And we'll use this time to spin the box one more time. Yeah, teddy bear. It's honestly kind of sad that we had the box in the perfect spot and couldn't get the guns that we wanted out of it. But we did get the Argus and the Locust, so. Round 20, steering wheel only. I dedicate this one to everyone who said I was a shitty zombies player. ZWC3, here we come. Codename Pizza doesn't stand a fucking chance. Rad Austin 27 getting buried. Tim Hansen, I hate him, and now he's gonna see how much I hate him after I've demolished him. Crazy Rabbit, gonna look like a scrub when I'm through with him. Pack a puncher, not even worth being in the same room as me in terms of zombie skill. It's over. Although, let's not, after bragging, die. Because that would be embarrassing. I'm just not sure how long this HVK is going to carry us. Alright, we've made it 21 rounds with the HVK carrying my ass, but I think it's time we invest in a proper weapon like the Haymaker or the Draken. Haymaker! I'm not going to have time to pack a punch it though. That'll be a next round problem. Oh, but here's what we can do. Let's pull this trap. Let all them die there. Perfect. This is how skilled zombie players know. See, this is map knowledge right here. This is me playing hundreds of hours of Doris, knowing that if I stand here with that trap on, a majority of the spawns run through that trap. I'd say pretty clever by myself, if you ask me. Okay, there's still a handful of zombies left, but like a manageable amount. Pack a punch the haymaker. We've now pack a punch two guns using only the steering wheel. Shout out to the Pack-a-Punch gang, by the way. Pick up the Pack-a-Punch merch. What are we gonna get? Turned. Ooh, turn could be actually useful. I think we got, I think we got a good lot of uh, Pack-a-Punch alternate ammo types. All right, let's give this a go. See? I like having our little turn buddy helping us out. See, we don't even need to bother. He's doing all the work. He's probably on steering wheel too. Wait, fuck. Wait, no, this is not good. It's not good, our steering wheel froze. Nothing's working. I can't connect to anything. Fuck, no. Oh no. Wake up! We gotta drive backwards or something. What happened? The steering wheel stopped working. The keyboard isn't responding. Literally the only button on the steering wheel that was getting me anywhere. Oh, so now the buttons won't work. The only buttons that were getting me anywhere was the brake. So I tried running away while walking backwards. Are you kidding me? We had such a good game running. 
All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, maybe subscribe for more. And if you want to see me destroy every scrub in the zombies community using only this bad boy, my trusty steering wheel, then be sure to follow ZWC on Twitter for information on tickets, merch such as jerseys, and other things like future ZWI contests. A link is down below. I'm going to go. Have a wonderful day, and bye.